Hello, I'm Jimmy, Senior Software Engineer at Puppet, and today I'll do a short presentation about the work we've done to seamlessly integrate Puppet Agent with MDM services. I'll talk briefly about full disk access, mobile device management, code signing, and managing resources with Jump and Puppet. As you all might know, Apple introduced a new security feature called full disk access, which requires applications to be given full permissions to access user-protected files. If those permissions are not granted, applications such as Puppet cannot properly manage resources because some data will not be accessible. Puppet needs to be given full disk access to manage macOS devices properly. Full disk access must be provided by administrator. Applications are not allowed to list themselves, but it can be automated through an MDM service. Only code signing executables can be managed with the MDM profile. I'll cover each of these steps in the next sections. Mobile device management lets you securely and wirelessly configure devices. MDM includes updating software and device settings, monitoring compliance with organizational policies, and remotely wiping or locking devices. Configuration through MDM is done using profiles. Profiles are XML files that load settings and authorization information onto Apple devices. Code signing is a macOS security technology that is used to certify that an app was created by an organization or a developer. Once an app is signed, the system can detect any change on the app, whether the change was introduced accidentally or by malicious code. Puppet Agent provides code sign binaries for all our supported macOS versions. For a better overview of all of the moving parts, I'll show how to manage Puppet executables permission with Jamf and to enable Puppet to properly manage Chrome resource on macOS. Here is the test configuration that I will be working on applying on a macOS machine. It's Chrome resource that manages the PXP agent log configuration and prints the new syslog config information. I have set a simple agent server configuration where we'll try to apply the cron resource and see what's happening. When we're trying to do a manual puppet agent run on the agent node, we'll see that we're unable to manage the cron resource. In the PE console, we'll trigger a new puppet agent run and again, we'll check the logs to see what happened. So the log says that the a resource was created, but if you are checking more in detail, we'll see that the same error was thrown. Going back to the agent now to see if the resource was created and nothing is there. Moving to the Jamf dashboard where I already connected my Puppet agent node to be managed through Jamf, we'll see the information about this machine. Going to the configuration profiles, we'll create a new configuration for PXP agent for allowing full disk access. To do this, we need to go to privacy preference policy and fill the details. So I'm going to configure and then we'll need the identifier. We're going to use the path to the PXP agent executable as the identifier set the identifier type to path, and then we will need the code signature to add it also as a code requirement in order to validate this file. Now, for the permissions, we're going to add system policy all files and system policy sysadmin files to allow. Saving this jump fee will automatically deploy it to our connected nodes. Now, going back to PE and doing the same Puppet run again, when checking the logs, we'll see the event that the cron resource were created and there's no error. Checking to see that the resource is really created on the box and is there. Now, I'm going to trigger the same Puppet run again to see there are no more corrective changes. So when we're checking the events again, we'll see that the cron resource was not created again and the logs are clean.
If you're trying to try to manually manage the resource from the agent box, which was not given full disk access, we still see that we can not manage it.